What's good, YouTube? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Diddy, who might be in some more hot waters as the prosecution team is accusing the rap mogul of calling witnesses all the way from prison. Yes, guys, it seems like Diddy is trying to make things happen even while he's currently locked up. So I'm here to give you all the full information. Y'all can let me know if y'all think this is true. Do you think Diddy is out here trying to convince the witnesses as it relates to changing their stories and stuff like that? Anyway, guys, before I go any further in the topic, don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and make sure y'all turn the notification bell put it on all that way you can get notified whenever i post a new video all right guys so let's get to the story so y'all can understand what's going on all right so the story is saying did he call witnesses from prison prosecutors say sean diddy combs has been breaking prison rules by contacting potential witnesses in his upcoming sex trafficking trial prosecutors have alleged the music mogul is accused of making relentless efforts to corruptly influence witness testimony by using other inmates telephone accounts and using three-way calls to speak to people who are not on his approved contact list prosecutor said a review of records called also found that mr combs instructed his family to contact potential witnesses in his case they said in a court filing mr combs 55 is currently in custody in manhattan he has pleaded not guilty to all of the charges against him and strenuously or strenuously denied any wrong doings best known for his 1990 hits such as i'll be missing you and more money more problems the musician has been denied bail since his arrest with multiple judges citing a risk that he might tamper with witnesses his lawyers made a renewed bid for bail last week proposing a 50 million dollars package that would see mr comb be monitored around the clock by security personnel while under house arrest lawyer alexandra shapio or shapiro argued it was impossible for the musician to prepare for a trial for from behind bars because of the incredibly voluminous amount of material to review especially without a laptop computer she also said his preparation has been hampered by conditions at the jail including frequent lockdowns and officers taking away the pens he used to take notes detention is stripping mr combs of any real opportunity to be ready for trial violating his rights under the u.s constitution shapiro said in response prosecutors are argued that the request for a bail should be denied alleging that mr combs poses serious risk of danger and obstructing of these proceedings in court documents they accuse the star of orchestrating social media posts in order to influence a potential jury pool at the trial amongst those efforts they cited an instagram statement posted by a woman known only as witness to countering allegations made by singer don richards in a civil lawsuit against mr combs prosecutor alleged that her statements was drafted with mr combs during multiple texts as multiple call or oh, and multiple calls from prison they further allege there was a strong interference that mr comb paid witnesses to after she posted her statements a video posted by the star seven children on 5th of november was also cited as, cited as evidence of a public relations strategy to influence the case the video which was reported by multiple media outlets showed the family wishing mr combs a happy birthday during a prison phone call the defendant then monitored the analysis i.e audience engagement and explicitly discussed with his family how to ensure that the video had had its desired effect on potential jury member in this case prosecutor said mr combs was also accused of using the phone accounts of at least eight other inmates to make calls which is against prison regulations and of directing others to orchestrate payments for this access prosecutors characterized mr combs as running a relentless scheme to contact potential witnesses including victims of his abuse who could provide powerful testimony against him urging the judge to deny mr combs request for a bail the prosecutors wrote that no set of conditions could eliminate the potential risk to the trial the defendant has demonstrated an uncanny ability to get others to do his bidding employees family members and in prison the inmates alike they claim there is no reason to believe that private security personnel would be immune prosecutors also rejected criticism to the conditions at the metropolitan detention center in brooklyn citing an interview from the star's lawyer mark 
Agnifilo or Agnifilo, who said food probability was the roughest part of Mr. Combs' adjustment to life behind bars. The musician lawyers have yet to react to the court motion. The BBC contacted his legal team for a response. Mr. Combs' legal troubles began last November when his ex-partner Cassandra Cassiventura filed a civil lawsuit alleging incidents of rape and physical abuse between 2007 and 2018. Although the case was quickly settled out of court, it led to a flurry of similar accusations and an investigation by the U.S. government. The star's properties were raided by federal agents in March and he was arrested in New York in September. Mr. Combs was charged with three counts of trafficking and racketeering in a federal indictment that described allegations of drug-fueled days-long performances um, dubbed as Freak Offs. The musician is simultaneously facing more than two dozen civil cases by men and women accusing him of assault and doing you know certain exploitation to them the star has vehemently denied all of the charges against him and the claims in the civil suits arguing that the encounters at the heart of his criminal case were all consensual in a separate development on monday a lawsuit was filed against one of the lawyers known for spearheading more than 120 lawsuits against combs the lawsuit filed by an unnamed high profile individual against texas attorney um, tony busby alleged that mr Busby attempted to extort him by threatening to make public entirely fabricated and malicious allegations of assault. In court documents obtained by the BBC, the plaintiff identified himself as a former associate of Diddy and acknowledged attending events with the embattled music mogul. The lawsuit against Mr. Busby claims the Houston attorney follows a clear paybook for extorting celebrities involving in fabricating allegations and demanding letter seeking payment. The law Lawsuit alleges that if the demand are not met, he turns to the media to apply public pressure. Mr. Busby, who denies wrongdoing, described the filing as a last-ditch attempt to stop him from naming the individual. It is obvious that the frivolous lawsuit filed against my firm is an aggressive attempt to intimidate or silence me and ultimately my client, he said in a statement sent to the BBC. No amount of money was included in the demand letter. He wrote, no threats were made. The demand letter sent are no different than those routinely sent by lawyers across the country in all types of cases. All right, guys, so, you know, allegedly Diddy has a lot of persons out here working overtime, doing his dirty deeds and all that stuff, right? Do you believe that or do you think that it's, you know, they're just trying to make Diddy look as bad as possible and, you know, Diddy is an innocent man, you know? Do you think this is just like a whole orchestrated plot to take down the music mogul? Or do you think, you know, he did all this stuff to these females, these male and all that, right? Um, we have yet to see like a video evidence of you know all these alleged stuff but I guess maybe the um, the prosecution team is waiting until the trial start I don't know but y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comment section and thank you all for watching the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video stay safe peace